Hey guys, it's Jessie V. Yes, I have a cat on my shirt. Today's story isn't entirely Halloween themed, but I just had to tell it because it happened to me just this past Tuesday, so I just could not resist the V-time urge. When something happens to me, I just have to tell you guys. You guys are my besties. You must know everything. But this story does have kind of a creepy vibe to it, so in a way it goes with the Halloween theme, but not entirely. Oh well. This V-time is about my my weirdest taxi experience. It was like beyond strange. So strange that for a moment I thought I had entered Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. That place is like strange kingdom. Don't go there unless you want to turn into a blueberry. Anyways, I told my mom the story that I'm about to tell you and she literally said, Jess, like I think I should call the police about this. I bet I've sparked your interest now, haven't I? Huh? Huh? So let's get into it. This past Tuesday I went to the Tovlo concert in Toronto. I'm sure most of you know of her. Just search her up if you don't and I bet you'll recognize her most popular songs. She only started getting famous in the last year or so. So I absolutely hate parking in Toronto because whenever I go there the parking is just so expensive and it's a busy city so it's hard to even find a parking spot. So I thought that I would just take transit. I met up with my boyfriend and my friend Matt and we all got on the subway after grabbing some hot chocolate. It was gonna be a 40 minute subway ride and I really needed my fix. Like, guys, I actually think I have an addiction to hot chocolate. It's pretty bad, like I crave it all the time. I need therapy! So what we had originally planned on doing was once we got off the subway, we would take a bus to the Tovlo concert. Because the subway didn't go straight to the concert, we had to like get off the subway, find a bus, and go there. But we were running so late, so we thought we might as well just take a taxi. We thought it would be quick and easy. No! Quite the opposite! Because when when does anything in my life go right? Never! We met up with Matt's brother once we got off the subway and he decided to call the taxi for us. The conversation he had with the taxi driver on the phone was just so weird. Matt's brother was like, please pick us up at the subway station. And the taxi driver goes, I'm already here. I see you guys. And Matt's brother was like, how do you see us? Like, how do you know what we look like, first of all? And second of all, we don't see any taxis around here. He was like, are you sure you're at the subway station? And the taxi driver was like, oh wait, I'm not. What? You're either here or you're not. How do you get confused by that? But anyways, the taxi driver says he'll be there in a few minutes to pick us up. So we just wait and a few minutes turns into about 15 minutes. But you know what? I consider myself to be a fairly patient person. So it was cool. That wasn't the weird part. Although the phone call was weird. So we get into the taxi and we tell him where we need to go. And he tells us he has no idea how to get there. He goes, I don't know where that is, which was so confusing to me because he's a taxi driver. He takes people where they need to go. Doesn't he have some sort of navigator or knowledge of the city since he works there every single day? And I mean the concert hall is a pretty known place. It's not like we're asking him to take us to Timbuktu. But yeah he just kept saying I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. So we had to pull up a map on our phones so we can tell him which direction to go. I've never had to do that in a taxi before. He then makes this massive illegal U-turn in the middle middle of a busy street. He, he almost killed us. Cars were swerving and honking at him. We were screaming. I was holding onto the car for dear life. We were driving for about a minute and then he pulls over to the side of the road. And I'm thinking, okay, maybe he needs to check the map one more time. But then he says that he needs to make a personal phone call. And I was so shocked by this because we had already told him that we're running late for the concert. So we really needed to pick up the pace and he decides to pull over to make a personal phone call. Buddy, not the time. So he calls his friend up on the phone and starts yelling at him in a different language and I'm just so completely confused. It goes on for about a minute and then he hangs up. He then tells us, oh my gosh you guys, this is the weirdest part. He tells us that he's going to bring us to his house for a little bit because he needs to visit his friend. What? What? Is this real life? Because I don't think it is anymore. We want to go to the concert. Why is it so difficult? Like, go see your friend after, drop us off, and then go have a party with your friend for all I care. Why now? I don't want to go to some strange taxi driver's house. That was not what we asked for. At that point, we should have gotten another taxi. I will admit that. We should have gotten out of the taxi and got in another one. But we didn't. And it was because, honestly, before this taxi driver, we tried hailing down a cab for a good half an hour. Like, we could not get a cab to stop for us, so we had to call this guy. This guy told us he'd only 
be a few minutes at his house and that he'd give us a big discount. This had never happened to me in my entire life. So he starts driving us in the opposite direction of this concert. He's taken us to his house. He takes us down this sketchy street with like rundown houses, old storefronts. It was just weird. And then for some reason he turns around and asks us if we're all wearing our seatbelts. And I was like, yeah, why wouldn't I be? And he goes, it's against the law to not wear your seatbelts. And I felt like saying it's against the law for a taxi driver to take us to his house, okay? So since we're all breaking laws here, and then 30 seconds after he lectures us about seatbelts, he takes his off. He takes his seatbelt off. What? My friend Matt and I just turned to each other and we're like, what is going on? This guy was actually a loon. So he finally pulls up to his house and his friend isn't there. The taxi driver was like, he told me he would be here. He's supposed to be here. Matt's brother turned to me and was like, is this a drug deal? Are we in a drug deal right now? So the taxi driver calls his friend again and eventually his friend turns the corner and comes up to his house. The driver gets out of the car and goes up to his friend and starts talking to him for a while and then they exchange something. Like there was definitely something sketchy going on. We asked the taxi driver what he just gave his friend and he's like, oh, I just gave him the key to my house. That's all. I'm sure. I don't know, man. The thing about this situation was I wasn't feeling threatened in any way. I had three other guys with me in the car if anything went wrong and the driver was this skinny short little guy that probably couldn't even harm a fly so it wasn't like I was scared out of my mind but in saying that if you're ever in that type of situation and you feel uncomfortable please leave just get another cab I'm not too sure what the heck we were thinking maybe in a way we were kind of curious as to what was going on and I mean come on if I didn't go I wouldn't have a story for you guys but yeah we should have honestly reported this guy taxi drivers don't take customers to their house and exchange things with their friends it just doesn't happen but anyways yeah he starts driving us to the concert finally and that was that never saw him again he was gone he did give us a huge discount though which was like the only benefit of that taxi drive but that's not even the end of my V time because honestly when I arrived at the concert some more weird stuff happened there was this protester guy who was blocking the doors of the concert so that nobody could get in so I was waiting outside in the rain for a while until the security guards removed him. He was telling everybody that we were sinning by seeing Tovlo. He was all like, you're all idiots. You're all idiots for seeing Tovlo. All of you sinners. He was eventually moved from the front doors, but he still stayed on the street to yell at everybody. It's crazy what people will protest sometimes. It's just, I don't know, blows my mind. I don't know why Tovlo impacts his life so much. And then out of the blue, this bride and groom thought it would be awesome to get married in the parking lot of this concert and it was raining it was pouring rain and they're getting married in the Tovlo parking lot just right there in front of us we were at their wedding when I bought this Tovlo ticket I did not know it would be for a concert and a wedding it's a two-in-one the bride's dress was like soaking wet and covered in mud I don't need I don't even know guys this last Tuesday was the weirdest day ever how could so many weird things happen in one day I don't know but I hope you guys enjoyed this video time I just had to tell you my social media information is in the description along with my vlog channel and my PO box information so yeah check it out guys and until next time bye